when God puts you to the test, and you pass the test, and He blesses you, watch this carefully. He's not coming back with a less struggle. The only way He's going to get your faith out there is to keep pushing. He, he tests you here, and what happens? The next time, the test is stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger because what's happening is just like lifting weights. You start with two pounds, then you go to five, then you go to 10, then you go to 20, whatever it might be. You're getting stronger in your physical body when you extend the amount of weight. When you and I faithfully go through some test, some trial, and we come through it, we can thank God for it. But look, don't relax because it, there's another one coming. He's not going to let you, allow you to stay where you are unless you push against Him, push against Him, push against Him, and refuse to submit to the test. The test could be financial. It could be in your relationships to people. It could be with your job, whatever it might be. Whatever it is, remember this, that God's for you. He says He's working all things, listen, for our good if we trust Him and rely upon Him, one of His children. And so, whatever the test is, it's for our good. We don't like them sometimes because they're costly. Sometimes they demand things of us that we don't necessarily want to yield. But if we want to grow and accomplish His purpose in our life, we must trust Him. So God has a will and a purpose and a plan for your life, and the reason He wants to grow your faith is because He knows the greater your degree of trust in Him, the more He's going to be able to, do, watch this, do through you, in you, and for you, as well as for the kingdom of God. That's why it's so very important that you and I learn to trust Him and to walk obediently before Him.